Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B. And in this video, I want to share with you some podcasts that I think will be really helpful to you if you are a YouTuber. This is Channel Notes, a channel dedicated to helping you to thrive on YouTube. And these are podcasts that I've loved a lot that have taught me so much about the businessy side of doing YouTube that I think that you guys are going to get a lot out of. Now let's get into the podcasts. So firstly, I want to talk about Fizzle. This is a long-term favorite for me. I have a deep love for Fizzle. So Fizzle releases podcasts like how to charge premium prices for your premium product. This is something I think a lot of YouTubers struggle with because there is a lot of backlash about charging for anything on YouTube or about dealing with brands on YouTube. How to grow with intention and avoid growth for growth's sake. So they actually did a whole episode about this and it meant a lot to me because it felt like with my main channel, I was just growing and growing with no real purpose. When when it came to my growth. And sometimes I think a lot of us get on this wheel of, okay, like more subscribers, how can I get more people? How can I get more views? More people clicking that button. And you forget to think about like your purpose behind it and the why behind why you're actually trying to grow and whether it's necessary to sustain the business that you want. So their episodes obviously aren't directly for YouTubers. It's very hard to find content that's directly for YouTubers, which is why, hi, I am here. But in saying that, a lot of their information is transferable. The Fizzle Group is made up of three entrepreneurs, so they have a lot of information around building small businesses, which is essentially what your YouTube channel is or what your YouTube channel will grow to be. So many YouTubers start out with such little knowledge of the business side, of the making money, of how they're actually going to turn their YouTube channel into something bigger. And I know a lot of people say like, you should never start YouTube with the intention to make money. But I also think that if you can make money doing what you love, you should freaking pursue it. One of the guys in the podcast is really out there. I think his name is Chase. You'll know who it is as soon as you start listening to it, but they just have good banter and good conversation and also drop a lot of quality content. The second podcast that you absolutely need to listen to if you ever intend to create an online course or you just want to make money from your business using some kind of product or you want to build your list, your email list is Online Marketing Made Easy by Amy Porterfield. She is a true badass babe and she's all about the step-by-step, -step, the actions, the examples and I relate to that so much. So I'm just like, oh, I live every time I listen to her podcast. An episode I would recommend from her is her 90 day blueprint to launching a course. This is something I listened to after launching my course. And now that I've listened to it, I'm like, wow, there's so much that I do differently. It would be an entirely different process. I also adored her episode with Donald Miller, who is the author of Building a Story Brand. He talked a lot about how to cater your copy to get more sales. It's also about clarifying your message and it's an absolute game changer. Her content is just so incredibly packed with value and actionable advice that if you're not listening to it, like you are missing out. The enthusiasm is so real when I'm talking about this podcast just because I've been recently binging it. So I've literally listened to so many episodes of Amy Porterfield in the last like two weeks. I'm obsessed with her right now. But if you're at all interested in creating a product or launching a course, check out her podcast. You're going to love it. The next one is of course, Tim Schmoyer. I love Tim Schmoyer. I've actually been through Tim Schmoyer's video labs, which was a good experience. I think he's super knowledgeable. He has a lot of information and right now the topics that he's interested in, I'm just super interested in. So he's talking about story a lot and I'm so interested in that topic. He's also always talking about primal branding and that is also a topic that I'm super interested in. So you'll find hints of those two topics littered throughout his podcast as well as his YouTube channel. And it gets me really excited whenever I listen to that kind of stuff. And whenever I'm learning about storytelling, I just feel like my mind is growing. And primal branding is definitely something that I always am trying to implement over time. It's just kind of a lengthy process. It's not as easy as just like, okay, primal branding codes tick. So I listened to his YouTube goals to focus on for growth in 2019 episode. And I really enjoyed that. He talked about storytelling a little bit there. So I would recommend listening to that episode to kick you off. The next one is a weird one. It's College Info Geeks. So you may be familiar with Thomas Frank. He's a YouTuber who makes YouTube videos about studying and about college, but he also has a podcast where he talks more about like the lifestyle kind of stuff. He still talks about college stuff, but a lot about like productivity and efficiency and that type of thing. And the thing about his podcast is that he talks a lot about his lifestyle as a content creator. And that is super inspiring to listen to if you are a creator. He'll talk about automating his podcast or batching his content or trying to up his YouTube game and film more content or hiring researchers for his content. And just a lot of it, it's like a peek into the lifestyle of a YouTuber that's at like a million subscribers. So it's really inspiring to listen to. And also it helps you to make that belief of, yeah, you can get them more attainable because hearing someone talking about it that you can kind of relate to that seems like a normal human being is always encouraging. The next one is like a broad and general one. So 
podcasts that are related to your niche. So for me, I have a few podcasts that I follow that are related to my niche. I think this one is a really important one because a lot of YouTubers, they only look to other YouTubers within their niche for inspiration, which isn't effective because then you end up regurgitating each other's content. And that's sometimes fine because people need to hear the same thing more than once and from the person that they relate to more than that other person over there. But if it becomes like a regular thing, then it's no longer as fun. So to create better, fresh content with a little more diversity to it, definitely seek out some podcasts that are in your niche that are from different people or even podcasts that are a little bit outside of your niche but the information could be transferable. So that's like me with a lot of the business podcasts, a lot of it is transferable onto YouTube. So for example, for Michelle B, I listen to the Blinkers podcast, Simplify. The Savvy Psychologist, Getting Things Done and all of those things inspire a lot of the content on my main channel. If you liked this video, you might like my video on free tools to help YouTubers. I'm gonna have that linked on the screen. These are free tools that you can use as a YouTuber that will help you to up your YouTube game. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my course Thriving on YouTube using the link below. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you soon.